Where in the world do you get your drive from? That's part one. That's part one. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you are you are a highly driven uh, personality type A, you know, to the hilt, right? <laughs> so you, you are driven. So where do you where do you get your drive from? That's the first quick first part of the question. The second part of that question is, if someone feels like they just don't have much drive. They just don't have much get up and go. Is there a way to change that core part of that personality or not? Absolutely. Jay, thank you for the question. Those are amazing questions. So first and foremost, I mean, my drive comes from a hundred percent. My number one motivator is always my parents, right? Like watching them build from the ground up since I was a little kid and what they sacrificed for me to become who I am. I mean, they barely had enough money and they would put me through private schools. Whenever business I started, they were behind me funding it. You know, like they didn't have all this money, but whatever they had, they literally invested in me. So it was my job and my motivation to basically make sure that their sacrifice was 100% worth it, right? And to see them proud, I think is the greatest thing because they did something that altered the course of my life right they came here they put everything on the line and sacrificed for me so now it's my duty to you know take it to the next level and make sure that they know that their sacrifice was worth it to come here and build something and hustle as hard as they did um so that's a number one motivator for me and then you know i'm, I'm just inspired by so many people you know i i didn't realize my story impacted as many people as it did until i started sharing it uh for the sole purpose of just showing people like, Hey, listen, if I can do it, like it's totally possible for you. And not that every journey is the same, right? Cause we're all different people. We walk different trails and different lives. So please like, don't compare yourself to anybody else, but know that you can be up against all odds. Know that, you know, you write your own destiny and you can create and manifest the life that you want. If you believe and you work hard enough, honestly, and I know that's super cliche, but I've seen the American dream built right before my very eyes. And it's the coolest thing in the world to see. So uh, that drives me and I want to help other people get there. So that's definitely a big driver for me is to be able to get to this level at such a young age so that I can help more and more people get there and live their best lives. Because, you know, the second part of your question that you mentioned, Jay, was how do you get motivated? I mean, honestly, when you start to realize that you were put on this earth for a reason and that you're granted very specific gifts and you're very unique in who you are and what you do, that's a huge motivator. I think that digging deep within yourself and asking yourself, like, what is really your why? Like, why do you get up every day and do what you do? Right? Is it, do you have a specific vision? And those who don't have that motivation is they don't have the vision built. If you don't know what you're working towards, how will you ever be motivated to get there? Right? But these reflective questions are not something that's specifically taught in school to really dig deep within yourself and say, hey, what do you, what do you actually want? If you ask most people, what is it that they actually want? Jay, I'm sure you'll get this answer. I don't know. That's the problem. If you lack vision, you will lack direction and therefore you will not be motivated. So my biggest inspiration is, you know, sit down with yourself, get away from everybody, get away from your phone, all the things and just stay clear and ask yourself and just have a conversation with yourself, God, higher power, whatever you believe in. Right. And just say, Hey, what is it that I want? Why am I here? And ask yourself these questions. And it sounds insane, but they do come and you start to paint that picture of the vision of what it is that you want. And sometimes life happens, right? Things don't have, you know, it's never a clear direct path. There's always obstacles in the way, right? But at least you have a clear ver vision of what you're working towards. And I think that that's super important. So the way that you combat that uh, anti-motivation, I want to say, is you basically create a vision for yourself and really ask yourself what it is that you want and dig deep and what's stopping you from getting there.